Star Wars Collectors, welcome to another Boss Bounty video and welcome to another episode of Clone Trooper Tuesday. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Clone Trooper, the classic Clone Trooper Phase 2 armour from Revenge of the Sith. This is the mould that basically has been used for figures like this guy and this guy and the Commander Apo figure and the 212th. All of the other ones that I've reviewed pretty much in the Clone Trooper Tuesday from that era, from the Saga collection. This is the mold that they use for all of those different paint schemes. And it's a great mold. It doesn't have a removable helmet, but it is a superb figure. And uh, it's got all the articulation that you pretty much need from a from a three and three quarter inch figure. And it's a great looking Clone Trooper. So we're gonna get them out of the package. We're gonna take a look. This is the 30th anniversary packaging. So let's just take a look at the packaging first of all, before we take the figure out. So I do like the 30th anniversary packaging. It is very nice indeed. This is the Saga Legends. You get a coin. There's the back. You get a few of the other figures. So there you can see a um, Shock Trooper there. You got the Elite Trooper. You got a Phase 1 there, Darth Maul, a couple of other figures. And yeah, it says, equipped for all terrains and environments, the genetically engineered clone troopers combat the relentless droid armies of the Separatists. They are led into battle by the Jedi, who serve as generals during the Clone Wars. So the Clone Wars has started again, Season 7. What do you guys think? I'm loving it. I can't wait for to see what else happens in it. It's brilliant. The Bad Batch, etc. I really, really do like it. And of course, we do need some more figures from that Clone Wars, don't we? But let's take a look at this clone trooper. We're going to get them out of the package now and take a look. All right, so first up, let's take a look at the coin. So it's going to hopefully, we won't get too much uh, shine back from this coin. But as you can see, you've got General Grievous, Anakin and Obi-Wan on the front. Star Wars Episode 3. And it's got 2007 on there. I can just, just make out a 1977 on the other side because it is the 30th anniversary. And Star Wars 3, Episode 3, obviously, Revenge of the Sith. There's the coin. It's not a proper coin, is it really? But still pretty cool. All right, so onto the figure himself. So of course I do have him on a stand here, but the stand doesn't come included with the 30th anniversary edition. Um, I've nicked this stand from my 501st, but as you can see, lovely looking clone trooper there. Can't really say too much about the detail because obviously he is all white, but he is looking very, very nice indeed. But I don't mind the fact that he is all white because I do like to have you know, a number of classic clone troopers in my collection. And then obviously you can have the different battalions and legions or whatever as well. Uh, but it is nice to have some clean ones like these guys here. So there you go. He is the phase two armor. Do love that phase two clone helmet. It is a great looking helmet. So close to the original trilogy stormtrooper but still maintains some of that Clone Trooper Phase 1 armour as well. It's just a perfect in-between. The design has really sort of nailed it with these guys. And in terms of the figure, obviously, I still think this is the best mould for a for a Clone Trooper. Um, hopefully Hasbro will better it. You know, the Clone Wars is back, so I expect or I hope that we will get some more clones, specifically the Bad Batch. Would love those guys. Obviously, a, a fives is rumours to be coming out, but we don't really know in what form that will be, whether it be the Ark Trooper or the standard Clone Trooper fives. Obviously, we need a Captain Rex, a new version, not that Black Series version would be nice as well. Um, but yeah. All right then, guys. Oh, he does come with an antenna as well, which you can stick in the back, which I do like on some of my other figures, like the Fleet Trooper and what have you, but the... The standard clone trooper, I like to keep that keep that out there. So he's just just a standard clone there. A grunt, if you like. All right then, guys, this has been Clone Trooper Tuesday. This is another clone for my clone army. I'm hoping to build this clone army up. And then I'm going to do a nice video for you all with, with hopefully a large clone army. I, I don't know how big it's going to get, but I'm going to try my best to make it as big as possible for you guys. And I think that'll be a pretty cool video to do. In terms of articulation, as I mentioned, it is just the same mold. So you've got head on a ball, shoulders on a ball, you've got ball jointed elbows, swivel wrists. Unfortunately, no, no hinge on the wrist, which would be quite nice to get him to better poses with holding his blaster and things like that. He's got swivel hips. He's got 
ball jointed knees and he's got a ball on the ankle and obviously it rocks as well which is pretty cool so you know they could make improvements to it but as far as things go at the moment I think this is the best mould and the best articulated clone trooper that we have all right then guys thank you very much for watching this has been clone trooper tuesday hit that like button subscribe if you're new and we shall see you on the next one